Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, which is h raised to power x equals to 36. From here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log h raised to power x equals to log 36. And from here, we apply the power law of logarithm. Now we have log m raised to power p is the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 and equals to log 36 from here. The next step here, we divide both side by log 8. Is this divide this side by log 8? Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies log 8 can each other here. And we have x left, which is equals to log 36 over log 8. The next step here, we can write 36 as 4 times 9, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 9 then over log 8 then from what we have here this follows from the law of logarithm when we have log a times b this can be written as log a plus log b that is we have x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8. That is from here. We separate this into two fractions. And this becomes x equals to log 4 over log 8 and plus log 9 over log 8 that is from here we can express 4 here as 2 times 2 which is 2 square also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 3 to power 3 then 9 also as 3 times 3 which is 3 square and what we have here now becomes x equals to log 2 square over log 3 raised to power 2 to so read as 8, which is 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 3, then plus here we have log 9, which is log 3 square, then over log 8, which is also 2 raised to power 3. And when we apply the power of logarithm here, 2 comes here, also here, and the power here, then we have x now equals to. 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 then plus here we have 2 log 3 over 3 log 2 that is here log 2 cancel each other and we have 2 over 3 left which implies x here equals to 2 over 3 plus here also we can write as 2 over 3 times log 3 over log 2 and here when we apply change of this when we have log a over log b here we can write this as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 that is since 3 here is the SCM we can write it as x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 here that is here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3.
Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. Now this will substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 is 2 all over 3 here. Yeah? Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3 is 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then, next step here, we can express 8 as 2 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3, this 2 all over 3, is equal to 36 on this side. Then this power multiplies, and we have 3 here cancel each other. And we are left with 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3, this 2. Then is it equal to 36 on this side? That is, what we have here follow the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. That is, here we have 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power 2 log 3 is 2. Is it equal to 36 on this side? Then, 2 squared here, yeah, same thing as 4. Then times 2 raised to power here, yeah, we reverse this from power law. When we have p log m, this is the same thing as log m raised to power p. That is, here yeah, we can write this as log 3 square base 2 now is equal to 36 from here. Then from here, this is the same thing as 4 times. 2 raised to the power log 3 squared, that's 9, and base 2 is equal to 36 on this side. That is, what we have here also follows from the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to the power log b to base a, this same thing as b here, which implies here, this same thing as 9. So we have 4 times 9 is equal to 36 here. And of course, 4 times 9 here give us 36, which is equal to 36 on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And from here, we can conclude that x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching us here at Master Timor's class. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the description button. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.